I, that's what I said. Mr. Jones should have a full choice of I which way he wants to. Totally vote. agree. Totally agree. Mr. Singh, not Mr. Jones, uh, right? With whoever the property I mean, the owner is Mr. Singh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. The proprietor is the establishment. Correct. Absolutely. And, 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 and when I say that, I mean that there has been a, there has been a predisposition on the part of the, of the Planning Commission in the past, an aversion to making a decision on, on a reason. So that's why... Well, it's not what, that's not what we're here to decide. And, and I understand that, but what I'm saying is that... You don't understand if you keep bringing it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. What, I'm, what I'm saying is that I think that the, that the proprietor should have the, ma the maximum amount of, of flexibility in, in what they want to do, ultimately. The city, it's our job to be able to make decisions that, 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 that best benefit the people of the city. So, personally, I think that if we're going to be offering them a waiver of limitations, that we should probably, you know, uh, also be a, a willing to waiver the, wa waive the fee as well. I mean, that's just, that's just my own personal opinion on this. Well, we're, already, we're already waiving, we're already doing we're already going and creating an exception to our established policies by providing a waiver. So, which actually, yeah, why don't you consider that issue when and if it ever comes before. So really, the fee is immaterial, is what I'm hearing you say. Absolutely, for tonight's vote, it is immaterial. Well, my personal opinion would be to grant the waiver tonight, so they could be working on both at the same time, not to delay it. It's a very unique situation that it is. these people are in. So I think we, they've worked with us. We need to kind of work together to come to resolve. So I would be for, for granting so they can apply at the same time. Okay, here's, here's the counterpoint to that. You know, we have a system of laws and rules which we expect every one of us to follow. Mm -hmm. And it seems like in this city, we bend rules more than any other place I've ever lived in where everyone gets a special pass. And I think in deference to the rest of the citizens of the town and any other business owner, we have to follow the rules. I mean, I, and, and the rules say that the, the ordinance states, right, that he cannot, uh, well, he cannot reapply within 12 months unless the council sees a special, some sort of extenuating circumstances. And I guess I, I don't, I'm not seeing that. Is I that, think there's extenuating cir circumstances. Yeah. What, it started back when it started. It back when it right. was granted that he didn't have that permit in the right. first place. It was November 2012. That, yeah. that should have never been granted. But, but it is, it was. was okay, okay, but he got six months of use out of it when he shouldn't have. So <laughs> I guess I see it as you know, it's unfortunate that it happened that way, but we still have rules in place that we should not ask 20,000 other citizens to, you know, let us adjust, let us adjust as, as we see them. Uh, I would, I, I'd, I'd like to point out, uh, within the last couple of years, we did have a, a uh, agenda item that was uh, uh, to waive the limitation on successive applications that we denied. Uh, property. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, Jim, I don't know how often That's questions like this have here. come before the council through the years, but you've been here for decades. Uh, your opinion regarding this is, uh, we know we make the decision, looking for your opinion on, I mean, on, on uh, it is in my 40 years here, I don't recall ever seeing this come up again. I mean, uh, before the council, except for the Russell property and this application, I don't recall it's doing it ever before. Well, whether you should or you shouldn't, it's up to you. But it is provided for in our ordinance. It's just up to you to decide whether you want to grant it or not. Yeah, I mean, I guess the waiver capability is there, so I, I don't see where we're giving any special treatment. Well, why, it's just why didn't we grant it to the Russell property? Then. We, we considered the circumstances and deemed as a council. So what, what are the way so what are the guiding principles we're supposed to adhere to regarding the the circumstances? I mean, what are those? Well, I, I, I think that I think that the circumstances between the Russell property and this one are are, are too different. And you know, being argumentative about what the differences are, that's 
that's probably not going to get us anywhere. Uh, I, I think that the I think that the the, the question here is is reasonably straightforward, uh, and and I think that it's up to the council members to uh, make a decision on it based on the facts involved in this particular case. Mr. Mayor, can I just respond to something I heard in the discussion? Yes, I think it's important. I think it'd be very difficult to process two different applications simultaneously. So whatever is decided, I, I believe that would lead to a lot of confusion. I'm not sure how it would be advertised. Um, I think if it's going to be done, you have to do one and then the next one. You can't, I just, I just, from a practical point of view, I don't say you can do them at the same time. That doesn't mean you can't decide to allow them to proceed with the rezone unless but, you oh. revise differently and then allow them to apply for a special use permit. Keep in mind that so far the position of the city is to allow them to maintain the use on the site while the process is moving forward. Are we only talking though like a week basically because next Tuesday is the meeting and so if the rezoning doesn't apply then we've already given the the waiver we'll be approval because we voted tonight and then he could start. If not, but we'd have to wait. Next week though is just the planning commission. Right. So then the planning commission recommendation yeah. would come to us when September third? September the after September third, I believe. So the next meeting? So probably September? the probably the second meeting in September. So so then we would make a determination and then after that Mr. Jones would already have the permission and then he could turn around and file the special use at that time? As long as legal counsel says that's appropriate, I, I believe that that's, that, I believe the counsel can make that decision, but. Okay. Well, I, I thought the rule was though that he can't make, so in other words, you're, I think in here it, it said contrary to what he was asking for in his letter that he would have to withdraw it. Right? Is that that's what that, that's the recommendation I'm making. That was the recommendation. And, 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 it's, and it's based it's based on what I had said earlier that um, we're trying to give some thought to the option that he can withdraw and apply under a different permit, and we don't have to charge fees for that second application. Mm -hmm. That was the idea behind that, and also just the fairness of it. And also, just the need to resolve this. I think Mr. Mr. Jones has said many times he just wants to say to tell him what to do. And so, um, that's yeah. Well, it, it it appears that we're doing that in maybe a passive-aggressive manner, but <laughs> excuse. Me. Yeah. Well, I mean, the law you said is that he should not be operating the facility. So we we have told him what to do. Mm -hmm. And we have not followed through with the enforcement of that, as, as from what I can see. So now, in addition to that law, which I believe you're in your own words, you said he's violating. Now he's asking us to bend another law. I mean, that doesn't sit well with me. In fairness, the second point of that, they're not asking us to bend any laws. It's written in ordinance that we are allowed to do so. So they're not asking us to create. They're not asking us to change ordinance. They're just asking us to act on. So it, it, there's an important difference there because a mistake was made initially, and you're right. They are operating outside of that. But what we're actually voting on tonight is not outside the scope of what ordinance allows us to do. But actually, most special use permits precede operations, right? I mean, is there, in most cases, you, you get the special per use permit first, and then you go in constructing your business and yes. filling a lot with cars. and which so we're already happen. we're already doing things backwards. Right. Well, you're, as it's, you can you argue an ideal situation. I think there's no one in the room that will sit here and say that we're in an ideal situation right now. We all understand that's unique circumstance, and under unique circumstances, you have to make unique decisions, and we'll be able to work within the guidelines provided by code to do so. I feel like we're we're talking in circles on this, and we're at a point where we probably need to vote whether to grant waivers. Um, I understand, Mike, from your perspective, it may be difficult to manage both. Difficult's not impossible. If that's the way that the applicant decides to move forward, then that's the way the city has to, to adapt in this situation. But there could be a possible overlap there if we grant the limitation and waiver to do so. Well, but but I, guess, I, I guess my question would be, Mr. Jones does not have to file this until no. after he gets a decision on the rezoning. So 
there wouldn't necessarily